Hello and welcome to Ucanic. In this video we're going to use the Ucanic battery and charging system tester to test this 12-volt uh, battery. Now this um, tool can test any 12-volt battery, be that on a EV, on a car, on a truck, on a boat or a motorcycle. As long as it's a 12-volt battery, it can test it. It doesn't matter what range or how big or small it is. So um, here we're going to use it on this EV, it has a 12-volt battery, and this can be a little bit more tricky to test. Um, so what we want to do on this one, we want to disconnect the negative terminal uh, on the battery. You have a little plus here that's a positive. Usually this is red or a red cable, in this case it's not, so be careful there. Uh, here is the negative, you just loosen the, the bolt. Okay, we're going to take it off and take this and put this to the side. The reason why I want to do this, especially on on an EV, but ideally you want to do this on, even on a regular car. If you can access the battery, just disconnect the um, uh, the battery. It's because this tool is going to measure the internal resistance and do some quick tests on the battery. When the battery is connected, both terminals are connected, these circuits they are um, connected to it so they can give you inaccurate readings on the, on the tester. So we connect the red to the positive, black on the negative there. And then the tool is gonna turn on. Now, this tool will uh, power on at about six volts. So if the tool doesn't turn on at all, that means that the battery is probably below six volts, completely dead. So here we um, can do a quick test where you just enter the ampere hours of the battery. Let's say, you know, you look at the top of the battery, it says ampere hours 60. And then we just put that in there. Okay, but you uh, let's go back here. So that's the fastest way to test it. But you have a couple of options battery and vehicle. So if you have a battery that's like under the, the passenger seat or the trunk or whatever, you can't access it, you won't use this option battery and vehicle. But here we're going to do auto vehicle. So again, even though we have battery is in the vehicle, we have completely disconnected it. So we're going to consider this out of the vehicle. Uh, because it's not battery is not connected to the electrical system of the car, but um, here you have regular flooded AGM gel and EFP options. Regular flooded will be a lead acid. Uh, so if you look at the top of the battery, here it says AGM. If it was lead acid, it will say PB or lead acid. And a lot of batteries are going to be regular flooded, but in this case we have an AGM and it's a flat plate. Uh, Optima batteries are usually AGM spiral. But uh, let's go ahead and this GB is where you enter the ampere hours of the battery. But if you scroll up and down, you can see you can enter a lot of different inputs. Um, so if you look at the top of your battery, it's going to have a few, some input like this. So you can say it's cold cranking amps in this case. That's a very common one. A lot of batteries are going to have that. And be careful because that's different than cranking amps. And some batteries will have both. So we only need one, we typically want to use cold cranking amps, press enter, and if you look here, it's 680, and so on this, you just keep press, keep this button, up button press until you reach it 680, okay, then press enter, and now it's going to test it. Uh, so it says battery temperature, we're above 0 degrees Celsius. Press enter. And you can see here, it says replace. And the reason um, why it's saying replace is because if you look at the battery, it's rated for 680 amps. This battery is actually only putting out 449 cold cranking amps. That's a lot lower than what it's rated for. So um, these, uh, for example, these um, electric vehicles are not very uh, high consumers when uh, they don't need a lot of battery to power the starter or crank the engine. And the same thing if you have a small like four cylinder engine, you might notice the, the battery can still crank it, but it might be a bad battery. If you look at health, it's at 43%. 449 or four, about 450 cold cranking amp will still crank and power up a lot of cars but that means that battery is at the end of its life and needs to be replaced. So that's how you test the battery 
uh, recommend you to do instead of quick test do the in out of the vehicle test and um, you can also uh, what you can do is you can also do charging charging system test but you need to go battery in vehicle and then you can do cranking test and charging test you cannot do those two tests on this because it's an electric vehicle so those wouldn't apply here but if you have a, a gasoline engine diesel engine you can you can test those